Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins and today I'm super excited because we just released WP Courseware 4.9 which includes achievements. This is something you guys have been asking for for a long time and I'm super excited to announce that we just released this feature. And so without further ado, I wanna get into this video. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a, a tutorial of how achievements works. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by getting into our dashboard here. And the first thing I want to show you guys is in settings. So if you go to WP Courseware settings, we're going to kind of get things kicked off with achievements. Okay, so you'll notice when you, when you install uh, WP Courseware, you should get a leaderboard page. You do have the option to uh, change it. You, you can click the X here, pull your drop down, and uh, select a different leaderboard page. Um, or you can create one, so you by just clicking the create button. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and select leaderboard because we already have one created. Next, you have the option to enable pop-ups. And so uh, basically this is gonna be for the front end. So, uh, so when somebody uh, achieves an award, uh, they'll have a flyout pop-up notification just notifying them that they, got, that they received an award. Um, so you can have that enabled or not. If you do not enable it, it can still uh, tabulate the, the points that you give them. Uh, they just would not receive the flyout notification. Uh, the pop-up time is just giving you uh, the amount of time that the pop-up stays up on screen. And then you have background color, text color, just a couple of different options for styling that notification. Once you have all of that set, you can click Save Settings and you're ready to go with achievements. So the next thing I wanna do is come over to our achievements uh, area here in the dashboard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new achievement. So we'll click add new, and I'm gonna call this one completed units. And you can give a description here. You can say something like, great job, you completed a unit. And it can be whatever you want. Uh, and then you're going, to, you're going to want to set the award number here uh, or the points. So for this one, I'm just going to set it to, uh, we'll just set 200 points. And then next, you, you're going to want to set an achievement image. So kind of like a badge. Um, and so I have, there's, there's, a, there's a few badges in here that are, are preloaded. However, you can upload your own image. Um, and so for now, I'm just going to pick one that we already have here. Um, I don't have one for 200 per se, so we're just gonna pick, uh, we'll give it a good thumbs up with uh, two stars, how about that? And I'm gonna go ahead and publish this achievement. Okay, so now, now your achievement is ready to use. So now the next thing to, you're going to want to do is to assign the achievement uh, to a course unit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to courses, and as you can see here, I have a course already created, so I'm just gonna click into the course to edit it. Okay, so now uh, what I want to show you before we assign the achievements, uh, I want to go and uh, guide you over to the achievements tab under course settings. And here you're gonna notice that you have the ability to enable achievements or disable achievements. What this does is this controls achievements for the entire course. So even if you assign achievements in, in the course to your units, uh, quizzes, modules, and you have this set to no, no achievements will be, uh, will be awarded uh, on this. This is just enabling achievements for this course in general. So what we want to do is we want to enable it. And then you have the next option here, select course achievement. Uh, and this, this achievement is uh, achieved when you complete the course. So when you, when you complete the course, uh, this, is, this is when you would receive this achievement. And as you can see here, I do have a completed course achievement. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that now. Okay, so now let's come up and you'll notice I've got two modules and within the first module, I've got six units. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and edit my first module and I want to select an achievement. So I'm gonna give this one the completed module achievement and it automatically saves so we can get out of that. And then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna quickly go through these various um, units and I'm going to give give each one of these units a achievement. 
Now you'll notice here in the second unit, I do have a quiz associated with it. So, so uh, in this instance, um, I'm just I'm only going to award uh, the quiz. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on the quiz here, which is going to pop up in a new window. And you'll notice I already have a non-blocking quiz here. Um, and if we go over to quiz behavior, uh, you'll notice that uh, no recommended score is set. However, if we click show recommended score, um, now I'm able to not only set the recommended score, but I can also set the achievement. And so here I'm going to go ahead and select past uh, non-blocking quiz. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so now we've got our quiz set with an achievement. Now remember, I did not set one for this particular unit. And then I'm going to go to the next unit, to the next four units, and I'm going to go ahead and assign the uh, completed unit achievement. Okay. So now that we've got all of those set, um, what we're going to do now is go ahead and update the course. And now we are ready to try this out. We want to see what, uh, what happens when we uh, receive achievements. So I'm going to go over to an incognito window here. And I'm already logged in as a student. And I'm going to go over to our courses tab. And you'll notice I've already completed this course. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and reset myself all the way back to the beginning. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and begin our course. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. This is our first unit. And you'll notice I have a mark as completed button. And you'll notice I got my badge completed unit. Okay, so our next unit is going to be a quiz. And so you'll notice I've got my quiz here. And I'm going to go ahead and answer my question here to the quiz, submit my answer. And you'll notice I got my completed quiz uh, badge because I completed the non-blocking quiz. And so we'll just go ahead and continue on with our course. I'm going to go ahead and mark this unit as completed. And we got a new completed unit badge. And we'll go to our next unit. And so forth. And so what I'd like to do here is complete this module so that we can see uh, not only the unit uh, badge, but we would see the module badge. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly go through the rest of this course so that we can see the completed uh, course badge come through. So give me just a moment. Okay, and you'll notice I got the completed module and the completed course badge. So next, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go back to our account page. And you'll notice we have an achievements tab. And if I go ahead and click on that, you'll notice that I've got all my badges that I received for all the various units and modules, quiz, and all the way to till I completed uh, till I completed the course. And so you'll see that we have a tally of all our points here, which is great. Uh, the other cool thing that we have up here on our menu is the leaderboard page. So if we go check on that, you'll see that I am in the lead here uh, with 3,000 points. And uh, this will display uh, all the various uh, students who have received points uh, for their, their completed units, modules, quizzes, and courses. So, And lastly, what I'd like to do is come back to our administrative panel here. And uh, we're going to go and navigate to Dashboard home. And here you're going to notice that we have a couple of different widgets here. We have uh, the awarded points and stop st top student achievements. Uh, the, the awarded points have uh, various tallies for uh, various days or um, segments of days, total points in circulation. And also we have our top student achievements here uh, with regard to how many points they have as well. So I hope you guys are uh, going to be able to use this uh, achievements functionality and we're very excited about it. And if you guys have any questions, please let us know. And uh, thank you again for uh, watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.